Welcome to Venusian Soul Tarot. Today I'm back with a timeless pick a card reading and it's going to be channeled messages. So I'm just going to flow with whatever comes through or whatever you need to hear. So I want you to cast your gaze over the cards and ask your higher self which cards have a message for you. We have pile one, pile two, pile three and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Hi, group one. So there's a very strong energy here of you trusting your intuition and your self-belief. I feel like there's almost an energy of spirit congratulating you for, I just heard cutting away the people and the things that don't serve you or didn't serve you. Because with this group, I feel like when I look at this intuition card and trust and then the eight of cups, I keep getting this energy where perhaps you were challenged or tested in a way where there were people perhaps that didn't believe in your path or didn't believe in your dreams and you had to kind of go out on your own or you had to, you know, honor your truth and it was quite a difficult choice to make. For others of you, it could have been walking away from a particular job or career path, like a, a level of conformity because you sensed there was more options for you. There was something bigger for you. But for this group, I do feel you've been through a lot of challenges and obstacles. I'm also getting the energy of not giving up in your pursuits with the sun and the eight of coins. It's like coming into a time where you, you're starting to realize your dreams or they will be manifesting into the physical. I just heard as well for some of you, you chose the light. You either chose to work for the light, for spirit, but you've been listening to love the light. You haven't allowed like density, negativity, fear and limitations to drag you down. With intuition, we have each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Again, you're getting congratulations on your path, on listening and following the guidance that came toward you. But there's a sense as well, like I just feel like this path, you may have had to walk it alone or people... You know when they say like you're marching to the beat of your own drum or you're, you're following your inner guidance, but people looking from the outside in almost see it as crazy or radical or they have no clue what you're doing. Like to them, it doesn't look like you're on the path. It doesn't look like you're on that road because they don't, they're they not privy to your internal guidance. I feel like for this group, you've dealt with a lot of either connections with people that didn't understand you, a lot of like jealousy, people throwing stones obstacles um a lack of support that's the energy i keep getting and that's why i think spirit's coming in and saying you're going to be rewarded for staying true to your path and your vision and keep trusting especially if some of you you've endured so many battles and it's like this moon energy where you're not yet in it's funny you go from the moon to the sun but there's a sense of you may not fully be seeing the light yet or your dreams may not have yet reached the light of day not to the magnitude either you wanted or you hoped for or what's coming for you it's like spirit is saying like you can keep trusting you're on the right path and then we have when love is invited to take over right actions arise at the right time allow me dear divine to wait patiently until the timing is right let me rest in the unknown until a clear path is shown for those of you where your intuition at the moment is subdued or more silent than what it normally is because i feel for this group you are very intuitive and you're used to following your heart but there could be some barriers to that right now or you know, you're just not feeling it. You're not feeling as in flow with the divine. Spirit is saying like it's temporary and things are lining up for this sun moment, for the great reveal, for your manifestations to come in, for you to be, for some of you, for you to shine, for you to be in the spotlight, for you to showcase all the work you've undertaken behind the scenes. So that energy is coming through really strong because I keep hearing your hard work will pay off. But right now, for some of you, you may be feeling a little demoralized or unmotivated, like it's not going to or. But again, I, I keep getting a message for this group of timing. I also think you've been you were either raised in, you know, a family or, you, you know, you could have been like uh, in your younger years in a school setting where you were misunderstood or. 
I'm he hearing like the early experiences, you're around people that were much lower in vibration, that didn't see your vision, that didn't understand you, or maybe for some of you, they didn't have faith in you and what you were doing or what you were here to do. Because again, they, they just weren't in tune with that. And I feel for some of you, you've had to really go it alone. For some of you, it could have been like romantic partners or friends. Just in general, I feel like this group, you may have had to leave a lot of people behind because they were toxic or they tried to talk you out of your faith in spirit and your faith in yourself. And that's why spirit is saying you are going to be blessed. And it's like with the sun, I just keep hearing with realization, your dreams are going to be realized. And I, I feel for this group, you're not that far away from the manif from some sort of big manifestation. It will vary for all of you. I do think for most of you, I'm talking about something like a dream, a vision, something in the career sector. I, I do think there's a message here though with the four of wands, with those of you who have had connections that were lower vibrational or people that just didn't love, honor and support you or share your vision, you are gonna be met with a connection that is high vibrational, that does kind of support you in your destiny. We have the frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in the world exactly you are going to reach the heights of your dreams and your potential but spirit is saying provided you keep following your heart and you keep trusting it remembrance i think for this group like you never really and i 37 38 i get that sense of spirit guiding you step by step but i feel for this group you always you incarnated remembering who you are you incarnated with a clear connection to source and it's like that light couldn't fully be put out. Although I think people have tried to dim your light or to stomp on you or to make you feel like you couldn't do it. But Spirit saying that was never the truth and you've stayed true to your heart. When I look at this violet amethyst as well, for some of you working with the violet flame to transmute um, denser negative energies or past pain, past karma could be really valuable. But I'm getting really strong third eye energy. I feel like, again, I keep hearing your vision, like keep trusting your heart and following your vision. The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything we've gone through as a soul and body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. Sitting above the eight of pentacles, I feel many of you, what you, number one, you were born remembering what you came here for. You were born remembering your destiny and your path. I also am hearing what you do in this incarnation is something that you've developed a skill or talent for in previous incarnations. Other incarnations, I also think were preparing you for this journey. And I'm hearing if you have faced a lot of like opposition, challenges, um, toxicity, negativity, it was designed to bring you into your power. It's like these people were put on your path to help you grow so you could live out your destiny and live out your truth. You also have cosmic flower. And the frequency of cosmic flower, I just realized 18, 9, 37, 10, 38, 11, 9, 10, 11, again, steps. Sorry, the frequency of cosmic flower activates our remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. I keep, there's a constant energy of remembrance. For those of you where you have felt like things aren't manifesting or you're not sure about your path, it's like spirit wants you to stay true to it, but remember who you are, remember your power. If you have taken a break or taken a step back, this is like a call, not a call to action, it's a call to faith. I mean, it could be an action for some of you if you feel like you have just kind of stopped moving ahead with it or given up, but I just feel like Spirit is saying it can come together. You can trust in yourself. So we also have coherence. Frequency of coherence supports our ability to harmonize the frequency of the heart with the frequency of the mind for an optimal ability to create the reality that we desire. Again, this theme of your heart-centered intuition, your heart-centered life. I feel like for many of you in this group, you're, you're here to teach people how to follow their heart, how to trust in themselves, in how to live a life that is authentic. Because a lot of people I feel may have looked at you and said, oh, you know, what, what they're moving towards is impossible or they can't attain it or, you know, it's, it's not real. But in reality, I feel like your success, your victory, your fullest and highest expression in the 3D is going to validate your chosen path and how you move through the world. 
Yeah, this is what I was saying. Empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. People really have, I think you've had so many challenges with people. Like I feel like they've thrown energy at you, negativity, um, projected onto you, stomped on you, tried to drag you backward. And especially with perspective above Ten of Swords, it's like Spirit is saying, take the lesson and understand what the lessons were, but don't hold on to like their negativity or don't personalize how they treated you because you have here none of this matters zoom out common ground and i think for many of you you've reached a point where you realize like other people's thoughts and feelings their impressions how they treat you that has to do with them like it's not your problem and it's not your burden to carry yeah sitting above five of wands we have gaia gateway activation learning experiences wisdom transmission earth intelligence again the obstacles and the hardships and the all the sticks and stones people have thrown at you, that's what's helped you to build this energy. That's what's going to help you to really live this truth and live your dreams. Yeah, I feel Orion activation. I feel like you guys are supernovas. You're so, your heart space is so powerful. Supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirth by light. Part of why you're going to have this victory and success as well, Spirit is saying, is because you followed the light. You trusted the light. You always listened to the voice of love, not fear. And that's going to pay off for you long term. And I feel like people from your past or, you know, the people that tried to obstruct your journey. Number one, I heard, I feel like they, the obstructions they sent to you, part of their path. I don't love focusing on negative karma, but part of their path is to be obstructed in their life. I believe what we send out to others, we receive. If I send out, you know, negativity or jealousy to you, I'm holding that in my consciousness. Thus, that is my life experience. So some of these people are experiencing obstructions themselves. However, I feel like they're, they're going to bear witness to your journey and who you became. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hey, group two. So I keep being drawn to this beautiful jade crystal and I'm thinking of healing of the heart chakra. The message that's coming through really strong for this group is there is more internal healing that you need to do and complete in order for your manifestations and dreams to come in. So, and for many of you, I feel like this has to do, um, again, it's emotional healing, especially with this King of Cups and the Green Crystal, but there's also the sense of it has to do with your power, like what you think is possible for you because with the Emperor and the Star, I feel like for some of you, like there's a, there's almost like a lack of faith in yourself or there, there's a subconscious belief here that I can't make my dreams come true. Or it, it could just be as simple as, you know, a little bit of self doubt, but it's like, I'm hearing that that is affecting or obstructing your blessings from coming in. And that's why it, it's like the more you pour into yourself, and the more you heal, the more you connect with source within you, everything in the physical starts moving and blossoming. Everything starts to come in. So this is um, a message of recommendation of really going within. And I, I feel like these are, this is deep inner work. Like it's like I see you, they're showing me you pulling out thorns around your self-concept or self-identity. And for many of you, I feel like this is coming from childhood or karmic relationships of some sort and with faith we have miraculously amazingly everything i need always comes love is opening me to receive beyond anything i imagine if you're in like a what do you call it like a a desert period or a valley period where things aren't materializing you feel stuck you feel blocked it's because there's there's this inner work or alchemy that happens. And when you come out of this healing uh, process, it's like everything you've wanted floods in. It's like going from nothing to having everything, like every wish starts. Because I'm looking at like all these stars and I'm hearing it's like all your manifestations flood in because you've changed. There's been some sort of alchemy in terms of your consciousness. Now, working with with modalities or frequencies that help clear karma karmic ties old belief systems you may be working with like subliminals reprogramming the mind and the subconscious but it's going to have a huge payoff with faith sitting above self-acceptance nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself when you offer your whole being fully to love self-acceptance arises spontaneously may i rest in our oneness dear divine 
I know this says exhausting like working on yourself, but when I say working on yourself, I'm not talking about picking yourself apart. I'm seeing someone, for example, in a place of meditation or self-reflection where they're allowing aspects of uh, their consciousness, their subconscious, old emotions, energies, beliefs to rise to the surface, to examine, to feel, and then transmute, to release. It's like they're showing me like someone, it's like a cup of water where there's impurities and the impurities are coming to the surface for you to clear away. So when I say work on yourself, for some of you, you may have a tendency to pick yourself apart or be way too critical, um, way too judgmental, doubt yourself. And it's like spirit wants you to be in a place of, you know, unconditional love and self-acceptance. So one of the shifts that's going on is you're changing how you view yourself, but Again, with Temperance and King of Cups, I feel like there are some buried emotions that still may need to be cleansed or cleared. Uh, I'm also hearing there's a need to be very gentle with yourself and trust yourself. It's like, yeah, that's what I'm hearing is your relationship with yourself is transforming, healing and changing, especially with your heart and the emotional body. And that's what transforms the physical world. So if you feel as though things aren't happening or you can't get ahead or, you know, the, the world isn't supportive or conducive to what you're trying to create that's why yeah you have belief over the emperor what i just heard is when you have full belief in yourself you're going to be unstoppable you're a powerhouse the frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source spirit is helping you to remember just how talented you are just how gifted you are the the potential you have but i feel like there's some sort of karmic pattern or conditioning or some sort of karmic loop that was initiated in childhood that that wounded your sense of self or wounded left a wound or an imprint around what you can do and spirit is saying it's not true and you're in the process and stage of pulling out those thorns so that they can't be a block or they can't hold you back you also have compassion above the star this is where our spirit spirit wants you to be so tender with yourself Spirit wants you to give yourself the love, the validation, and the compassion that others couldn't give you and didn't give you because that's what you deserve. So we have the frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and her, earth, sorry, spirit and matter so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. See, I'm hearing perceive yourself i feel for this group you're very you're naturally very compassionate and loving to others but it's about perceiving yourself without judgment and flooding unconditional love back to self sitting above the eight of ones you have passion yeah and it's like bringing your passions into the world bringing these passionate manifestations toward you the frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies a hidden gem of insight balance and calm it assists us in finding the balance within the intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long lasting wisdom fill us up. This is making me think of like eye of the storm, where we like plunge ourselves into the inner depths and our deep emotional, like into our emotional body, the depth of our emotion. And it can be difficult. We feel like we're spinning, we're swirling around, but it's like from that place, we can heal, transmute and understand. So there's this encouragement to go into it. You have discernment. The frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. I just heard it's time to take yourself back, to take your energy back, for you to choose yourself in the sense of you being your own focal point, not worrying um, excessively about the emotions of others. Like I'm not saying to be, you know, to be negligent when it comes to other people's feelings or not to honor or, or consider the emotions of others. But I feel for this group, you have a tendency to overgive or be overly empathic to the point that it actually blocks you and your journey and your truth and taking care of yourself. See, karma with the nine of wands. What I'm hearing is there's karmic energies, beliefs, and patterns that are blocking your um, your manifestations. Nine of wands for me is a card of resistance when it comes to law of attraction. There's like a barrier. It's like it can't get in without this energy being transmuted. Yeah. Karmic board clearing, energetic clearing, rewrite your story, live your truth. 
this process you're going through and this i do feel this healing process is going to be painful because i'm getting like deep-seated emotions and core beliefs about yourself that you've absorbed from others but I, it's like you go through this process so you can rewrite it's not really rewrite because i feel for many of you you've had intentions and passions underway like there's energies in the works and there's manifestations in the works that are going to come into your world but it's like you're removing the obstacles to that coming in above the three of cups holy grail inner discovery finding sacredness you are what you seek it's like again filling up your own cup with unconditional love pouring love back into yourself rather than others understanding the beauty of you rather than giving to others or focusing on the beauty of others um it's funny that this card comes out over the three of cups because spirit is saying make yourself and your priorities and your own opinion of yourself more important than what other people think or what a group of people thought in the past e.g your family it could be a friendship circle co-workers i just feel for this group it was definitely calm you've dealt with karmic connections or a karmic upbringing yeah and above the ace of coins it's like opportunity starts to find you blessings begin to find you when you clear these obstructions and these energies but again, we get one of self-care. So taking care of your body, like exercise, nutrition, um, meditation, a healing practice or routine, a spiritual practice, I should say. Um, journaling, very important. What are your gut? I just heard being in nature as well helps you heal and cleanse your energy field. Nourishment, body care, tenderness, rest. Again, spirit saying like it's almost like spirit wants you to treat yourself like a newborn. Like be so gentle with yourself, be so receptive to your own feelings. Perhaps you also were raised in a home or were brought up in a way where your emotions and your feelings and your truth didn't matter. It's almost like you had to suppress your needs or your voice or your own self-love to take care of others. And that could have been a pattern or other people's interests and needs took priority over you. Oh, sorry, over yours. Yeah, look, it's all about inner work. We have all past lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Spirit is saying you're at a place on this path and journey where it's you can't go further in the physical without pausing, stopping, and really going within and healing and doing this is like a deep purge and deep cleanse. And I'm hearing for many of you, yes, we're always growing and evolving, but I keep hearing this is the final one when it comes to really clearing out old heavy toxic um, vibrations energies people connections or the memory of karmic connections so that's all i have for you i hope this reading resonates and i hope you have a beautiful day hi group three okay so for this group the message is really clear i feel like you're about to get a huge if you haven't already a huge download from source and from spirit to i think it's something you bring into the world to be honest but it's some sort of knowing for others of you it's it's an it's a spiritual gift in the sense that there's an increase in your ability to channel but i feel like you're channeling something and this could be in a myriad you know in myriad forms for some of you it could be like related to artistic pursuits or writing i feel very strongly for many of you it's communication based you're sharing something with others whether that's through speaking writing healing for others of you though it could be like a like an idea for a film like a you know for a screenwriter or a, a fashion line something that's creative but i'm hearing it's like and again we have the the amethyst i just feel like there's this huge download it's like you get the golden ticket is what i'm hearing it's like yes like as soon as this comes through i feel um you're just gonna run with it or spirit is encouraging you to take action with it yeah you this group your artists whether your art, your artistry is through you know channeling spirit or creating something tangible painting writing designing you're a hundred percent artist true artist in the sense that you channel source songwriting music what i'm hearing though i keep looking at the six of cups and three of swords i'm like don't i keep hearing don't allow your past to hold you back because with the ace of cups nine of coins you're gonna have a lot of validation for your talents a lot of applause a lot of success but it's like don't allow the negative energies or people from the past to hold you back this energy reminds me a little bit of group one and it's funny because group one was violet amethyst and i kept mentioning something around the third eye 
and we have amethyst again. So for some of you, if you're drawn to it, you may want to watch group one, but they, they are slightly different. Um, but I feel for this group as well, you have may have had people like try to cut you down, especially your dreams. I'm um, hearing as well, there's a huge expansion happening in your consciousness, but it's not just your third eye, it's actually your crown because they're showing me just ideas flooding through. Um, this is a time where you may really want to journal or keep a notebook around you so that you can uh, explore or express some of the truths and the ideas and the energy that are coming through you. I feel like as well, some of you are actually reading the um, Akashic records. I was just going through these Oracle cards and I saw um, Akashic Stargate and I was just feeling a sense of um, you reading the records or there's, there's something in your um, Akashic kind of records that that you're here to bring in. It, there's something, it, it's like the time is now and that's why I feel for some of you, for, you're on the precipice of this if you haven't received it already. For some of you, this may, this download may have already happened, but there's something ripe about right now. And I feel like that's part of your soul's plan, journey, what you came here to do. We have divine source. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. So Spirit's going to be guiding you step by step. For some of you, there may be some fears around finances or you know if I pursue this and put energy and time into this am I going to be taken care of financially is, is following this vision going to have payoff for me financially the answer is yes 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 like just keep working with it you may have you know other other things to balance in the physical and the 3d but there I feel not only will it bring abundance for this group it can create like a legacy a lot of abundance it's something that has the potential for tremendous success. Like I, I, I'm hearing you'd never have to worry about money or finances again. With clarity, we have let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. Keep following your intuition because this download, this idea, this for some of I feel for many of you, it's some sort of project. It could be a venture, like a business. But it definitely has a creative, um, it's either creative or it has a basis in communication and expression, but definitely self-employment. For many of you, it's it's online or like it's it's something that's sold online. So it could be like an online business or like an online platform. Uh, the internet and social media is instrumental to your success and your finances. As I said, we have communication sitting above the six of coins. Okay, so we have the frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through our heart, the center of our truth, to stay in the flow of source and balanced exchange. For those of you who feel like you were in, I'm hearing, I cannot straighten this card. For those of you who, I just heard as well, like, don't be afraid if things are messy for a period of time, like, because it may actually help your creativity. That's just a side note. But I feel, um, I just lost my train of thought. Uh -huh. With communication, I feel this sense that, again, for some of you, it definitely, there's a message you're delivering, or it's like a book idea, um, a screenplay. Um, you may be expressing wisdom over like socials or TikTok or some sort of platform. Yeah, definitely strong um, writers, speakers, entertainers artists yeah what i said consciousness with ten of coins it's like a it's literally they show me a download and straight away you're like yes this is what i need to put my energy towards the frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multi-dimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality spirit is giving you this download and this golden ticket not only for your future with the Ten of Pentacles, for your abundance and because you align to this consciousness, but there's, again, you're creating a legacy. There's something that you're bringing to this world that you were destined to create. Whether you believe in, you know, life purpose, Akashic records, soul plan, I, I just feel it's 100% faded and there's something about this timing where it was meant to come in. You've got two of swords. You may feel a little bit, um, what be the word like? <laughs> you may second guess yourself is what I'm hearing. Like it, it's like on one level, you know, this is meant for you. And it's like, yes, like I've got that golden ticket, but there may be part of you that kind of holds back or isn't, um, there may be a period of time where you're not 
you're still contemplating. You're not fully ready to take action or you're not sure how to bring it into form. We have the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused and active side, allowing it to express itself while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. So spirit is saying you're going to be in a phase. Obviously, we all have masculine and feminine energies and there's a need to balance them. But you're coming into a phase where you're going to need to rely more so on your divine masculine energy. It's going to be more about like taking action, um, you know, living out your passions, uh, not being afraid to assert yourself. Some of this doubt could be as well. Like I do think you're going to be called to really leave your comfort zone to really vouch for this vision or idea. So there may be an element of holding yourself back or <laughs> wanting to overthink to delay having to put yourself out there. But again, that's part of the journey. Like you're, I feel for this group, you're going to overcome it and your passion and love for this vision is going to, uh, I feel, lead to your success. Delight. Yeah, and this is something that just lights you up. It's like, do you know when we can be going through the, the motions or, you know, we're kind of like in a stalemate situation where it's like the cycle just keeps repeating every day is the same. This is something that it like lights that fire in your belly where you're ready to take action. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. What you're creating and what you have received a download from for from consciousness is designed to bring more light and joy and love into this world. And that's why you have so much divine support and financial support with this vision. Again, I mentioned Akashic Stargate. Aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. Yeah, I was feeling a little bit of that crossroads energy there with the two of swords where there could be a little bit of hesitation or there may be some things from the past with the six of cups you have to let go of uh, and release. And it could be a painful letting go process, but I feel like it makes room for what's coming in for you. Yeah, you have three of swords. You're also going to be supported, I feel, with like healing and divine support we have clarity divine healing high vibrational energy anyone or anything you have to let go of or the memory of anyone or anything you let go of is designed to it's like you let go of it so that you can create space for higher vibrational situations you're ready to receive more your soul is ready for more in order to fulfill this vision and this download you need to make sure that your lifestyle your connections your, the people in your world um, are aligned with that higher frequency and that higher vision and that could involve you shedding some of these energies or some of it can, is energetic as well like some of these people may have already left your life or these situations may have already ended but you're still in that process of fully healing and grieving yeah ace of cups and you it's like your ace of cups is your offering to the world it's what your soul has come here and incarnated to offer it's happening. Keep holding the vision. Again, some of you may have already had this download and be working toward it. Others of you, it's coming. Yeah, I just, I keep looking at 22 and obviously that's a master number and it keeps making me think of like master manifester. You know, like life path. Some of you may literally be like a master number or a life path 22, but 22 or four I'm feeling, but there's that energy of being able to bring, bring visions to life for this group. Like you're very strong manifestors, but there could have been like energies in your past that, that weren't as congruent with what you're trying to manifest. But yeah, again, artists, this group is definitely um, creative, very creative. Your life is a canvas, artist manifestation, creative accountability. It's like you're going to be having fun with life again. It's like that spark, that excitement. Um, you're going to be lit up. I feel like people are going to be so drawn to this, this project, venture, idea. It's like people just want to be around you because you're so lit up. Okay, so that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group four. I keep hearing there's something to begin again or to have another go at. So what I'm feeling for this group is there may have been something you wanted in the past that didn't manifest or that was met with failure, with the magician or failure. I don't believe in failure. Failure is just stepping stones to your success, provided you don't give up. But I feel with the magician, the three of coins, the five of swords, you may have had something like a goal, a dream, a vision, a project, a business that 
either didn't work out or fear of failure stopped you from fully going after it. it but it's like you're picking up the paintbrush again is what I'm hearing. Now, again, I'm, I don't think you all are artists, but some of you could be. But there's a sense that you're coming. It's like spirit saying it's time to try again. It's like it's time to move through this. So for some of you, I feel like with the Queen of Cups, Two of Coins, Four of Swords, you may have taken some time out for, you know, self-love, healing, nurturing yourself. But there's something that, you know, it's like Spirit is saying, we want you to go after this dream either again or one you've had. I, I feel for many of you, you've had some sort of desire or dream or manifestation that you've wanted for some time. I don't feel like for those of you drawn to this group, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. I also heard a message, it's time to open your heart again. So for some of you, this could involve like a new um, connection, a new passionate beginning in terms of connections and relationships. But for most of you, I feel like it's some sort of talent or enterprise with the three of coins. But yeah, with that queen of cups, you may have needed to heal your heart or take time out for heart healing for... Because I, I'm hearing some of you have been met with disappointment. And this could be in more than one area of your life, but there just seems to be um, some sort of fear around this. We have with self-love, let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. Yeah, you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Because Spirit's saying in order to succeed, whether we're talking in terms of having a beautiful connection or... Uh, like a career or business pursuit, you have to allow yourself to be vulnerable. You have to allow yourself to admit to your heart, like, this is what I want. This is what I love. This is what I'm going to go after. You have to sometimes go out there and, you know, begin. And, you know, sometimes when we start a project or we start uh, um, utilizing a particular talent, there's a period of time where we have to kind of fine tune it or tweak it. Like you don't come out of the gate or well, unless you're like a prodigy and sometimes that happens, but more often than not, you don't come out of that gate fully ready and prepared. You learn as you go. Don't be afraid to fail because spirit is saying it's not failure. It's learning that's helping you succeed or will help you succeed in the future. But it's like, you have to be willing to stumble, to falter, to look a fool, whatever it is, there's some sort of fear around failure or failing again if you try um, or go after a particular pursuit. Yeah, because with 10 of wands, it's like some of you, I feel like you end it, you stopped doing something or you gave up on something. It's like spirit's like, nope, it's time to pick up again. It's time to start again, try again. With change, we have don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. For this group, you have a lot of fear around doing this or around opening yourself to this or to someone, opening your heart completely. There are fears and I feel like spirit is empowering you to kind of move past them. And as I say that, we have empowerment over the Queen of Cups. Uh, there may have needed to be or needs to be some emotional healing around, you know, but self-belief, believing that you can do this. And even if things don't turn out exactly as you planned, you're going to be okay, that you're going to push through and you're going to reach the other side. We have the frequency of empowerment supports our ability to show up fully and completely uniting us with others in the deep trust that we are all connected through the same source. Yeah. Trusting self is what I'm hearing. And Above the two of coins, we have dynamic. There's something really special about you and your energy and your abilities, but I, I feel like you may not always realize that or you may second guess that. We have the frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new with ease, grace, and joy. Yeah, it's like you're bringing... Spirit is saying, if you've stumbled in the past or if you feel like things didn't work out in the past, again, I feel like I could be talking about love and connection and relationships as well as career or projects, dreams. But I'm hearing it's like Spirit is saying, no, it wasn't a failure. Like you did learn from that. It happened exactly the way it needed to, to help you grow, to help you step into your power. So there's this understanding here of, it's like you're revisiting something in your mind that like you may have written a story internally, like, oh, this was a failure or, 
I was rejected or I was I wasn't good enough there's some sort of storyline you've told yourself that wasn't true that you're untangling yourself from when the four of swords is a magician it's taking time out to meditate to heal to rest to reflect so that you can come into this place of manifestation you just have divine feminine energy there's healing around the divine feminine um, around the heart I keep hearing the frequency of divine feminines and around the emotion the frequency of divine feminine supports our receptive nurturing and soft side allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation there's a period of time where for this group you're really in the heart space you're grieving you're healing you're meditating you're you know you're in that divine feminine but i feel like there's going to be a switch and with the root chakra sitting above the magician it's going to you're going to flip more into the masculine where it's time to take action and for some of you i feel like you're fast approaching this point i feel for some of you you've been in this phase already so the frequency of the root chakra the red flower of life stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane both in our bodies and in the physical world it's like feeling safe to really go after your dreams for some of you i feel like there, there's an element of not not feeling safe or not trusting that you can do it or not trusting that things will work out for you and that's what spirit is helping you heal so that you can bring in what you deserve you have um, protection loyalty safety trust star brothers yeah, it's like you have a lot of divine protection and divine support and i feel like that's been helping you through this process but again it's like feeling really safe in your body in your world in your own skin and that's the foundation and that comes from this healing work and that's the foundation with which you start moving into the world again i get that energy of like i felt that with dynamic of integration and it's sitting above the five of swords i keep hearing the things you thought failed or the things you thought went wrong were perfectly in alignment to get you here and spirit wants you to reassess what you think failed or what you think you know went wrong or you did wrong it's like you're you're questioning it now so spontaneous awakening activation integration time yeah it's like they're showing me like a like a you know like a horse at the gates like and the gates open and you're running out and that's what i was trying to say about this switch you'll go there's going to be a big shift where you're ready to start moving and really start going uh, or forging ahead so emerald tablet activation cosmic ordering divine alchemy conscious manifesting again i'm hearing begin again start manifesting start dreaming again yeah above the ten of wands like you close something out um, an old cycle if you feel like in the last cycle you were constantly in a cycle of like i don't like the term failure but failure or disappointment or things not working out to the conscious mind because I think things were working out in terms of building the character, the strength, the fortitude you needed to have success. But I feel like there's a sense of closing out a cycle where things don't seem to pay off, coming into a time where things really start to manifest, where your manifestation abilities are enhanced as well because of this inner work. Yeah, stellar gateway activation, infinite potential, manifestation vortex. For many of you as well, like you're getting in touch with your infinite potential and you're realizing that you always had far greater potential ability, especially around manifestation, than you realize. Like if in the past you struggled with a lack of faith or trust or, you know, you doubted yourself and whether you could achieve something or attain something, it's like now now you reach a point where you're like yes i can make this happen or yes you know i can follow my truth i can i can follow um my divine path i will be met with success there's something around the conditioning of your mind and your belief system that shifts um, and enables some of these blessings to come in but most importantly it enables you to start taking action because i feel for some of you these inner blocks or limitations we're making it really difficult for you to actually pursue what you wanted or for you to open your heart to other people or open your heart to dreaming again. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day.